Hey there, Emmanuel Beatty here from Performer Parish Coaching, and welcome back to my channel. If you're a man over the age of 40, you might be experiencing a decline in testosterone levels. In this video, I'll be sharing with you some of the best ways to naturally increase your testosterone levels and improve your overall health and vitality. But before we dive into this topic, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. And if you enjoy this content, show some love by smashing that like button and leaving a comment below. Now, let's get into it. Are you feeling sluggish? Having trouble putting on muscle? Or just not feeling like yourself? Declining testosterone levels may be the culprit. As men age, their hormone levels, especially testosterone, tend to decline. Testosterone plays an important role in the development of male sexual characteristics, regulation of muscle mass and fat distribution, and maintenance of bone density. One of the primary reasons for the decline in testosterone production after the age of 40 is the natural aging of the testes. The Leydig cells, which are responsible for producing testosterone, become less active with age, leading to lower testosterone levels. Additionally, the seminiferous tubules, which produce sperm, also tend to decline in function with age, further reducing testosterone production. Other factors that can contribute to declining male hormones after the age of 40 include an increase in sex hormone binding globin, or SHBG levels. SHBG is a protein that binds to testosterone and makes it less available to the body. As men age, SHBG levels tend to increase, reducing the amount of free testosterone available in the bloodstream. Now, let's talk about growth hormone, or GH, and insulin like growth factor, or IGF-1. They are essential hormones for tissue growth, cellular repair, and metabolism. However, their levels also decrease as men age, which can lead to physical changes such as decreased muscle mass and bone density. Moreover, an increase in the conversion of testosterone to estrogen through aromatase enzyme can occur as men age. This is because fat tissue, which contains more aromatase enzymes, tends to increase with age. The conversion of testosterone to estrogen can lead to a number of negative effects, including decreased muscle mass, increased body fat, and decreased sex drive. And y'all know what I always say, that ain't good, y'all. Other factors that can contribute to declining male hormones after 40 include obesity, chronic stress, poor sleep quality, and certain medications. Chronic stress and poor sleep quality can affect hormone production and cause levels to decline. To support healthy hormone levels in men, there are several approaches that can be taken. One of the most effective ways to increase testosterone production is through exercise. Exercise can stimulate testosterone production by increasing blood flow and oxygen to the testes. Getting enough sleep is also crucial for maintaining healthy hormone levels. Lack of sleep can lead to increased stress levels, which can impact hormone production and cause levels to decline. A balanced diet that is high in protein and healthy fats can help support healthy hormone production whereas a diet that is high in sugar and processed foods can contribute to declining hormone level. There are various supplements and medications that can assist in maintaining healthy hormone levels in men. While I prefer a natural and holistic approach, not everyone has that option. Fortunately, there are other methods available to achieve hormone balance. Testosterone replacement therapy, or TRT, is one option but it's crucial to consult a doctor about the potential risk and benefits of this treatment. Additionally, supplements like DHEA and zinc may also help maintain healthy hormone levels. In conclusion, the decline in male hormones after the age of 40 is a natural part of aging, but it can be mitigated by taking care of your body through regular exercise, getting enough sleep, and eating a balanced diet. If you're concerned about your hormone levels, it's important to talk to your doctor about the best options for your specific situation. All right, it's disclaimer time. The information provided in this video is for educational and informational purposes only and is not intended as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. 
Always seek the advice of your physician or another qualified health care provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Perform or Parish Coaching and Emmanuel Beattie do not endorse any specific products, treatments, or procedures mentioned in this video. Reliance on any information provided by Perform or Parish Coaching and Emmanuel Beattie is solely at your own risk. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.